Good morning, investors and traders. It's MDB coming at you here on Sunday, October 29th, 10.52 a.m. And it is time for monthly charts. It's the 29th. The, the month is almost done. And if you don't look at monthly charts, I, it's something I, I highly recommend because many times you see patterns uh, or formations occurring on the monthly, which maybe the mess, the daily or the weekly is just too messy. So join me now for a fast monthly charts review. Um, for anybody who has not watched my videos, uh, I'm an individual investor trader, uh, and I, I made my system based on the book, how I made $2 million in the stock market. Uh, this is my watch list. I have six personal ones here, which I've got various stocks uh, organized on. And what I'm doing is I'm looking for box patterns and or colors on the chart, which indicate signals, which are tradable or potentially tradable. And I want to make note of what's going on. And I'm always looking here on the right side of the chart. And I try to go through fast because remember, your first impression is usually the correct one. All right, let's get into it. Uh, starting here on the AMZ, this is income MLPs. This is bullish, but it's had some uh, volatility here. And yeah, we'll see what's going on. But if you're in this trade and you're above 231, well, it's bullish. Hold the course because you're making money. Uh, any patterns? Nope. And this is the thing, I like to scroll through charts fast. This is the oil on the monthly chart. Oil is positive, but it's coming in. Who knows if we go to a recession, I've said it before. If we go to a recession, well, oil demand should, should probably decrease, but we'll see what happens. So doom and gloom on the NASDAQ, on the weekly chart, on the monthly chart here. It's just uh, still in this box range. This is a yellow bar buy signal. I've got colors on my charts. And at this point, the buy signal has sort of been negated because you want it to stay roughly above the high of the bar. So yeah, it just highlights markets have turned and are not as uh, bullish as they once were. Play defense, not offense. However, your offense might be in crypto on Ethereum. See right here, we've got two inside months, inside, inside, colored this light gray. The trade is when price went above the high of the prior bar. And there's your trade, there's your long trade. Top of the bar, oh, it's about 12. So if you like Ethereum, you can buy some, it's up a little bit. But that's how it looks uh, bullish on a monthly chart. Most charts are probably going to look bearish like this one. Yuck. Just down, down, down. Gina. This one's going nowhere. But I'm going to increase the size of the, of the box. How bullish does China look to you? From here in 2021. Gina. It's going down. Ah, here's what I own. Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin through the GB, GBTC trust because I don't trust crypto brokerages at all. And uh, so I'm willing to buy some. And here's the trade right here. We got an uptrend going on here. The prior month was an inside month bar. The trade buy when it goes above. I'm long about right here about the move. Uh, no, I'm long up here about 22. I just didn't think Bitcoin had it, but you know what? It proved it on the weekly chart, so I bought it. But the monthly chart shows that I could have gone after it sooner, uh, been in it a couple bucks lower. But that's all right. In the end, so long as it goes up, I don't care. Gold, oh, the monthly chart. The weekly chart on gold is kind of bullish with a box breakout right here with a little shake and bake here. But when we change it to monthly, this is looks very good. 
Gold on the monthly, this is a box breakout and it's a yellow bar buy signal as well. So it's got a lot of stuff going on in here, but this is basically saying gold looks, gold pro looks better here than it has since 2020. This is probably the best gold has looked uh, in years. Can I have to think about buying some gold? High yield bonds. Well, there's the negative trade right there. You see, inside month, it resolved to the downside. If you bet against junk bonds, you're making money. That's how we do it. You see a signal, and then you take action, the bar, the bar after the signal. You don't have to buy as the signal is forming. You just have to recognize it and then take action. Be prepared on the button, the next bar. So like right here, this is a inverse hammer bar. So you'd put it one here and one here to see where it goes. Unfortunately, this failed because the markets uh, have turned and that's how you would have gotten out. You'd have ridden it all the way up, seen the signal, place your stop, and then uh, banked, and then you would have saved yourself some money as price came in. And look how bearish has gotten red, red, red. They've been bailing from housing. Micro caps, uh, that's a box breakdown. Volume's low, but you know, it just show, shows that this sector is terrible. IWM with what looks like just on the edge of a box breakdown. I'm going to mark that. But there's that, there's that sell signal right here. Inside month signal, if you took it and bet against it or shorted it, well, you're making money. Oop. Healthcare. Oh, that's a box breakdown. Again, see how the market's set up for downside? It gave, it gave everybody a chance to get out back in August. It printed this and then it gave everybody a chance in September to get out. I was pounding the table in August telling people everything was going to change. People don't listen or they don't know how to read charts. This is how you read charts. This is how you read charts. You're looking for signals. And now here we go. Everybody had a signal to get out. And now look at this downside. That's a box breakdown. Now I'm not saying this is perfectly easy to do, but I am saying that the market likes to tell us what to do. And then it hopes that we follow through. And sometimes it's hard. Sometimes price moves really fast or like here, or things just change. Two inside months on the transports. We broke out. Volume was low, but hey, it's bullish. Came up. Yeah, turned. And now we've gone three straight months down. And the breakout was invalidated. Because it broke the top edge of it. So that would have been a, a trade you buy somewhere in here. You hope for the best. Oh, it starts to turn. So then you prepare for the worst. And you set yourself a stop where you lock in some profit. So no matter what happens, you walk away and make money. The key theme is don't lose money. When you take action, don't lose money. Do whatever you can. Don't lose money. Equal weighted NASDAQ going nowhere sideways. QQQs uh, going sideways. Well, this is... Yellow bar buy signal, move it up. Now it's come back down. Your exit would have been the bottom of that bar there. It's not off that much, but to me, that's, that's the trade where it's time to move on. RSP, ugh. This one tends to impact uh, the family trust, which I'm a trustee on. Unfortunately, that's a box breakdown. Now, I am think of mind that we may bounce this next week. So maybe this bounces back into the box. That's my hope. Whoopsie. 
All right, I gotta fix this. My hope, oops. Uh, there we go. So my hope is that it bounces back up into the box and keeps going sideways and all these people who puked out are gonna feel stupid because they got cash on their hands and their watch prices go up. But it could also keep going to the downside, which I, I hope does not happen, but we shall see. But we're looking at monthly charts here. So monthly charts take a lot of time to develop. Um, let's see, anything else? Yeah, look at this. Semiconductors, look where it stopped, the top of the box. Now it came back down and now it's unknown where it's gonna go. S&P 500, a white bar sell signal. Not good, but there's that top box extension. So it's flirting with, if you bought the trade back in, what month was that? Back in March, you made money, but you're still clinging to this trade if you haven't been stopped out. And who knows, maybe it turns up a bit and uh, goes up, or maybe it just keeps going down, I don't know. Spy confirming that. Oh, these are sentiment, but monthly sentiment doesn't, doesn't help us. The tan, solar. Now look here. Box breakdown on big volume. Went down a month. Now down another month even more. But big volume again. Since we're looking at monthly charts, maybe that's a indicative of a puke out. As they barf out their positions from 65, 70, wherever. And they puke them out at 40. So maybe this bounces a little bit. But overall, it's probably going to keep going down. But how it goes down, it could be like bounce down more, you know, like a stair step. Could easily do something like that. So we shall see. But overall, it looks bearish. TLT, puke. Look at this. This has been going down since December of 21, almost two years of downtrend. Now we get the big volume print. All the bulls hoped that this line would hold up. It didn't. So now they're bailing. But this is good news because for long term uh, bottoms, you need all the players with bad trades to puke it out. Let's see, anything interesting. Uranium, an inside month. Interesting that it's on a big, big red volume. If uranium goes back up, that, that might turn into a nice long trade. Uh, what do we got? Oh yeah, commercial real estate looking, looking terrible. Look here on the VIX, everything is related. Inside month. Got a little weird, but that was back in in July. So August. The mar market tells us what's going on, what it wants to do. We just had to listen. Uh, XHB, XLE. Eh, not much going on here. Or these inside months. All right, let's go to the stock lists. And again, we're looking at monthly charts. Uh, what do we have? There's that uptrend, but now it's pulled back in inside month. I did own this one. I do not own it anymore, but I'm watching it. It's still bullish. This one, I got, I got knocked out of it, but it's on the, uh, the good list at the moment. Fro, this here, box breakout. Look at that on the monthly chart. Not an easy one, but oil tankers. Who said oil tankers is easy? But you can see the uptrend. And it all started back here on the yellow bar buy signal. But it sure took a while to develop. But kudos to anybody who was buying back in here and held. That's turning into a great long-term trade. But it's taken over, it's taken almost two years for it to, to double. That's a long time for a double. 
two years. Uh, Geo, this one last month was a yellow bar buy signal, which could be the start of a nice run. And so far, price is up. I do not own this, but keeping an eye on it. Let's go to the next list. Uh, okay, we want to get through this fast. Amazon, nothing going on. This one, Dell. I like Dell a lot. And now that it's forming an inside month, this gives us a, a buy trigger. If we get up to here or something happens on the weekly, I'm going to be buying this one. But it's, you know, whether this gap gets filled, I think is still the big question. Doesn't have to, but it might. ESTC looks great on the weekly, but on the monthly, you see it really hasn't done anything. It's gone sideways. But if it ever breaks out of this box, then that's going to be pretty impressive. Netflix. I really like Netflix um, based on the weekly chart. See this, this big green volume right here? Uh, but we're still in sort of a bad market, but I think Netflix has a ton of potential going forward. Even though it's in the middle of a giant monthly box, uh, there's still a good potential to get long in this area. Who knows? Might go back to 700. That would be a good institutional stock. Sell H. I had this, and you know, I bought this off the, not only on the weekly, but see how there was that monthly inside month as well? That's where I was buying, right down here. See how it all matches up? And uh, look, it, it ran up. Blue bar signal, which sort of indicates excessive exuberance. And now it's been pulling in. It's probably gone down about as far as it's going to go. But starting a new position, well, this might not be bad in here. The weekly signal is there at 170. But, you know, who knows? It does have earnings coming up on November 8th. So that's going to be interesting. Let's look at ELF. These two months so far have been just friggin' awful. We see the red cell, red cell. But leading up into this has been a wonderful trend. So it's probably just going to backfill and do its thing for a while. Unknown if there's any signals. Tesla, yellow bar, buy signal. It's completely invalidated. Uh, been coming in, but, you know, keeping eyes open for more signals. And nothing going on there. Now, box five here is the worst of the worst. These should look horrible. This one on the monthly broke out, pulling back in. There's that inside week. Signal to get out. So worst case, you bought it in anywhere in here, and you're out at roughly nine bucks. Preferred to have been out at maybe 15, but nine's okay. But I don't see any buy signals. Apple came out of the box, but now has failed it. We'll see what happens. Yep, that's a failure, Airbnb. See if I extend this across, that's a failure. Uh, failure. These, all these ones should look bad. Uh, back to that one, failure here on this one. Now notice AI has no monthly boxes or anything. There's nothing, but there was a ton of colors in here as you know, we had green, red, green, red. Right now, the last big bar was red, which tells me that the bears are in charge. Now it hasn't come down a ton, so I'm still keeping an eye on it, but this tells me that the, the last big bar sets the tone. There were no bulls that came afterwards. So keeping an eye on this one, pending anything new happening. And maybe nothing happens. AMD, two yellow bar signals. And all this got me super excited into AMD right in here. 
But then, ever since then, it's sort of, you know, just pulled back. Hasn't done a lot. It's not awful, but it's not super bullish either. ANET, this is a valid Darvis box breakout. It had it had uh, volatility in here as it had earnings, just breaking the box downwards here. But volume is, isn't super huge. This is still still bullish in my in my opinion. In fact, I may have to move it from this list. In fact, I think I am. I'm going to put it back to watching. This one, nothing there. And you see, you use these monthly charts if you're a longer term trader or investor. You don't have to be trading all the time. You can just buy something and sit. Oop. Nothing there, nothing here, sideways. So you can see how sideways, there's a lot of stuff going sideways. There's that negative signal here. Moved up, came down, nothing there. Ugh, box breakdown here. Coin. Box breakout here, moved up, has done nothing but sort of pull back and hover. But what is impressive is it still has not violated the top edge of the box. That, in my opinion, is kind of impressive. But there's just nothing going on in this. And when we go to the weekly chart, the weekly chart looks like it's getting ready to smash downwards. But maybe not. One day at a time, we'll see what happens. Nothing going on here. This is a giant, giant sell bar right here. It told us twice, here and here, time to get out. And if we didn't listen, well then the pink bar here signaled, you better get out, pay attention. And since then it's been coming down, but nothing awful, but there's just nothing bullish there. CVX, white bar down, but they had a big M&A merger. DoorDash, nothing. Nope. Nope. Ugh, awful. But you know what? This looks awful. I've shorted this a few times, made some good money, but look here. One, two, three, four. Eleven, almost the entire year downtrend. And look at this, all of a sudden, volume, biggest volume month in a year. Is that investors or traders puking out their positions? It may very well be. So even though this has been horrible this past two weeks and, uh, and all that, maybe this, it's time for a bounce because all the sellers have sold. Who's left to sell? It's a valid question. Ford going nowhere, box breakdown, volume's low. Automobiles are tough. First solar, box breakdown, but where's the big giant red? Green, 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 green. There's no big giant red. So maybe this bounces at this moving average I use. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not shorted anymore. Ugh, failure, box breakout and failure. This is an example on this one of a big giant monthly box. And so you could play that by putting a, a smaller box inside because, you know, maybe you want to trade it. And there was a breakout here went up but then the sellers kicked into here and now it's just been pulling back and there's that inside month signal see there's just nothing bullish Google yellow bar buy signal now it's giving it all up and validating it
if you read volume, see green, 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 red, red. Sellers are in control, not buyers. This one, every, every trader on Fintwit love this stock. Big green, big green. I said many times that I felt that this stock was capped at this top level. And yep, I was right. This is just a mess in here. No, thank you. Nothing there, nothing there. No, pulling back. This one's a little interesting. I probably drew this box a little prematurely. You can see how it moved up and then had this huge signal bar right here with a huge volume. It's been coming back down, but maybe it looks a little bounceish. maybe. I don't know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. Oracle pink bar signal saying pay attention. So far it's coming down. Failure, rig, box breakout, and now it's invalidated it on the monthly. Rubian, here's that box. Looks more poised for a breakdown than a breakout. Rambus sideways. This one actually looks kind of promising. You need a daily or weekly signal to kick this one off. How does the weekly look? So I interpret this as we got a box here, box breakdown, but price didn't crash. It just went sideways. Another signal here saying, yeah, we're not going. Bulls tried here on low volume, but it didn't stick. But now it's come down and look at this. Now a big sell. I don't know if this bounces and goes back up into the box, this might just be developing into a nice base. It's really hard to say. I'm going to put this in the watching list. We'll see if it develops. All right. Monthly up oh, invalidation. I think you get the point. See how it's simple to go through charts. Nothing going on there. Invalidation. Oh, breakdown. Yuck, it looks awful. Breakdown with a lot of red selling. No good. Oh, sideways. Uber. This is interesting. Yellow bar buy signal. It moves up. Gives us an inside month. The inside month does not trigger. It does trigger over here, but nothing crazy. But it's also roughly right there. Uber may be a buy. That might be a good buy point. If you're looking as a long-term investor, that might be a good, a good spot. I'm going to consider that one. Let's look at it on the weekly. All right, there's that move higher. Pink telling you to pay attention. Sideways, now finally gives up the ghost here, but volume's low. Okay, this is definitely a, a list five item, but I'm writing it down for a future um, keep an eye on. Nothing. Yeah, nothing there. All right, last list. And then we'll wrap. And we know about that one. Oh, just sideways. Sideways. Failed breakout here. Pink bar came back down. That's Berkshire. That's Warren Buffett. Oh, 
box breakout uptrend looking positive on this one ccj that's uranium nothing there sideways well I, I put this one on because if this ever takes off here that's that might be a heck of a trade the only thing I do not like is this is a mega fat mega cap. No company should have 1.8 billion shares outstanding. It's just impossible to move. It's like a big fat whale. Carvana. Look at this green volume here. Volume's declining, which is very nice. But there's no signals or patterns or anything at present. Hmm. Meta. Yeah, look at that. It's had volatility, but still going sideways. Nothing there. Microsoft. Rejection here. Microsoft just keeps going sideways. But that's that looks pretty darn good. It's hovering at the top of the box. They make tons of money. Yep, NVIDIA. NVIDIA just gave the signal. Last month was an inside month, but barely. There's no red volume down here. So even though that's a, a valid trading signal, whether you take the signal or not, maybe you say, you know what, it's not good enough, and I'm going to instead make a different stop out point, like maybe a little lower. Let's break out, but definitely a tough one. PLTR sideways. The stinger, now that's moving up. Oh, one thing I which I saw on this one, SMCI. Huge, uh, huge move up. Pink bar signal with a giant red saying whoa now notice here we've had some ups and downs but it hasn't really violated this low very much like this it's sort of flirting with that low now this could be a buy point right here meaning that this low is going to hold or if the market turns it'll go lower so that's that's what one would have to decide i i would not take that trade because i would bring it to other viewpoints now here on the weekly it's at my moving average which implies some support right there but again when it moved higher up here all they did was sell it so to me i'm not i don't see a ton of upside on a trade like this And the last one right there. Okay, so that's the monthly chart review. Nothing really stuck, sticks out. Uh, no huge signals for us to pay attention to. So at the moment, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe November's different, but uh, that's how we're going to close out October. And who knows, like I said, maybe we bounce and the charts look better next week. All right, thanks and have a good weekend. Bye.